Well, welcome to this Wednesday of Holy Week uh, as we continue on with some devotions. I came across a story this, this week I thought it was kind of funny, but it also serves a point. It's a story that President Ronald Reagan told during the last days of his administration. It was about a man by the name of Alexander Dumas. Now, it seemed like Alexander Dumas and a friend had a severe argument, and they decided to settle their argument by a duel. But the problem was they were both expert marksmanship, and they were both kind of frightened about getting into a duel with each other. So, so they decided to resolve the problems by drawing straws. And it seems like whoever draw the short straw pledged that they would go and shoot themselves. Now, not the best way to settle an argument, but that's what they decided. And so, of course, Dumas was the unlucky one. He drew the short straw, so... So he, he, with a heavy sigh, he picked up his pistol and he went into the library and he closed the door, leaving the company of friends that, that had came to witness this non-duel, so to speak. Well, after a few minutes, uh, all of a sudden the people heard his gunshot, one single gunshot. And they got up and they went to the library where Dumas had went in and, and they opened the door and there they saw Dumas standing there. With his, spit, with his pistol still smoking. And he says, an amazing thing just happened. I missed. <laughs> well, you know, sometimes that's the way I feel about being a follower of Jesus Christ. There's times that, that I feel like we missed what it means to follow Jesus Christ. We get so caught up in thinking of, of all the things that we should not be doing as followers of Christ that we don't think about what we should be doing. We think about uh, the things that, that we're told that you don't do this, you don't do that. You remember when Jesus was when met with his disciples for the Passover meal, and we'll be remembering that tomorrow night at our Monday Thursday service online. Well, when he was meeting with his disciples for the Passover meal, he washed their feet. And I could not help but to remember the times that the Pharisees and other religious leaders came and, and they were complaining that, that the disciples of Jesus were not washing their hands appropriately, or that maybe Jesus was healing on the Sabbath, or Jesus touched someone who was, who was considered to be unclean. See, they were so concerned about things that we should not be doing, they missed out on what we should be doing. Jesus made it very simple when he said this to his disciples at the Passover meal. He says, a new commandment I give to you, that you love one another. Even as I have loved you, you should love one another. And by this, all men will know that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. Well, this morning, let me invite you to spend a few minutes in prayer. Maybe read a scripture that's posted in an email. And think about the questions that's listed and, and lift up your own prayer. But above all, keep loving each other. Because by that, that's how people will know that we're followers of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen.